Grids are used throughout Jackrabbit and are powerful by allowing you to group, sort, and filter for specific information. Some pages offer data visuals which provide a quick view of key information, as well as the ability to filter the records shown, both in the data visuals and in the grid. For example, filter for active families by hovering over the status data visual and clicking on active. You may save this view as a favorite and make it your default, or use the Load Favorites icon to load it when needed. Use the Data Visuals icon to hide the data visuals for the grid until you choose to show the data visuals by clicking the icon again. You may add additional filters by selecting Filters with the Filter icon. It opens a filter drawer with all the filters available and you can quickly find a filter by typing in the search field. Grids without a filter icon can be filtered using the column menu for each column to filter all the records in the grid. Some grids may contain search fields below the column headers to quickly search for matching records. Enter a full or partial value and leave the field to filter the grid. Click the red X to clear the search. Grids may have row menus to perform actions on an individual record, such as edit, post fees, enroll, add a note, etc. Some grids include a send icon or a more icon. These allow you to perform actions on all rows showing or only on the records selected with a checkbox. Grids allow you to customize and work with the data displayed. Columns may be added or removed from the grid with the Columns menu in any column header. Grids may be sorted by a column in ascending or descending order by clicking in the column header, or by using the column menu and choosing a sort option. The order of the columns can be changed by dragging and dropping them. The column will be inserted where indicated by the two small arrows. When there are more columns than what fits on your screen, the first few columns are locked on your display as you scroll horizontally. Use the Adjust Columns icon and choose Squeeze Grid to view all the columns in the grid on your screen. Or choose Expand Grid to size the columns to the width of the text in the column. You may choose to add a column to the locked columns by selecting Set Column Position from its column menu. In the grouping bar, you can drag and drop column headers to create groups within your report. When multiple columns are added to the grouping bar, the second column will group the rows within the first column on the left in the grouping bar, and so on. You can change the order of the columns to group by in the grouping bar, and grouped columns may be sorted in ascending or descending order. Remove a column from the grouping bar by clicking the X. For more information, refer to our Help Center.